What's going on guys? This is Dr. Andreoni from Cannabis Doctors of Florida. Today we're going to be talking about THCO acetate. Alright, so what is it? THCO acetate, or THCO for short, is a semi-synthetic analog of THC that's been popping up more and more in hemp and cannabis commerce. Like Delta-8 THC, THCO is derived from hemp, it is psychoactive, and it's available legally, but more so on the West. However, unlike other cannabinoids extracted from hemp, like CBD, CBG, etc., THCO is not found naturally in hemp or cannabis. This is because THCO is an acetylated version of THC. The O stands for acetate ester. Plants don't normally add little acetyl groups to their compounds, whereas acetylation of drugs or medications is commonly practiced in pharmaceuticals. This can be done for a variety of reasons. It can either cause inactivation of the drug until metabolized by the liver, it can cause resistance to break down from the liver or increase its bioavailability, and it can make the drug more potent. Just to give you an example, heroin was created by acetylating morphine like over 100 years ago. This resulted in heroin being way more potent than morphine. And we've all seen where that ends up. Usually it's never good. And as such, the addition of the acetate ester to THC has been said to make THCO two to three times more potent than normal THC. Anecdotal reports are even saying THCO is a more psychedelic version of THC, as it offers a more spiritual or psychedelic or even hallucinogenic experience. I believe an article from Leafly even stated that THCO induces similar effects to a small dose of LSD. One of the statements in that article for THCO stated, high potency cannabis concentrates like dabbing and waxing are already available. So the risk of a bad trip with THCO is all relative. Yo, what clowns? Yes, this may be true, but that doesn't mean we should just take THCO. In all honesty, this sounds like trouble for potential serious side effects. As I've already kind of been mentioning throughout all these videos, more potent does not equal better. So THC is what's known as a weak partial agonist at the CB1 receptor. Weak is easy to understand. Partial means that it's not binding super tight, and then agonist means it does stimulate the CB1 receptor. The endocannabinoid system is a system that works with a great deal of subtlety. We really only need to give it a gentle push, not like some violent tackle that we'd be getting with THCO. Doses of THC that are quite low are usually what are required or desired to achieve therapeutic benefit when using medical cannabis. So you could see where I'm going with this. If we're trying to feel spiritual or psychedelic, let's stick to the psilocybin and the ketamine. Okay, getting back to the point, like we had kind of stated before, THCO is made in the lab. One of the main processes of synthesizing THCO is converting CBD to Delta-8 THC. From there, acetic anhydride is added to the Delta-8 THC to produce the THCO. By the way, acidic anhydride is a highly inflammable and colorless liquid that's usually used to make fibers and plastics and even explosives. And now we're using it to make THCO. As you may expect, I do have some concerns regarding its health and safety. If the companies that are making this product aren't producing that product with the utmost care, there's a good chance that they could be leaving any harmful chemicals or impurities behind in the product. And do we have any human studies with THCO as of yet? No. Is THCO approved by the FDA? No. This is another reason why I just wouldn't do this. <laughs> okay, so is THCO legal? There was a law passed in 1986 by Congress that was called the Federal Analog Act that said if you make an analog or a similar molecule to something that's already illegal, then the analog that you made should also be considered illegal. And in this case, Delta 9 THC is already federally illegal. However, the farm bill that was signed into legislation more recently states that anything derived from hemp that contains less than 0.3% THC, even its analogs and derivatives, are legal. THCO is not a derivative, but it is an analog of THC. So I guess it's legal. Will THCO show up on a drug test? Um, yes. So there's that too. Anyway, I hope this helped. I'll see you guys next time.